Hey, welcome everybody. It's Scott with the Washington Township Fire Department, and I'm here today at Station 41. We are going to take a virtual tour of this truck right over here. This is Ladder 41. Let's go take a look at it. So a ladder truck is our largest piece of fire apparatus. You can think of it somewhat as a really large rolling toolbox and work platform. So in the front of the vehicle, here in the crew area, we have seating for the firefighters. You can see they have their gear here in the vehicle ready to go. There's some EMS equipment, radios, flashlights, air packs built into the back of the seat. In the driver's seat of the apparatus, the controls for the vehicle as well as lights, sirens, pumps, all up there from the driver's seat. Looking here inside the front bumper where some of the engines may have a fire hose, the ladder has our hydraulic rescue tools. When you hear things on the news or movies or media of the jaws of life, these are our spreaders and cutters it will use for car accidents, vehicle extrication. There's also the yellow reel on the right hand side is for power and electric. We have a sawzall up front here and that is piped in, hosed in, built right into the front bumper so that it is always ready to go. If I come around to the front, this is the front passenger seat where our officers, our lieutenants would sit, have the laptop, some of our safety equipment, thermal imagers, you see their helmets and air packs also ready to go. And then all the gear and equipment for the firefighters, that's the back door on the passenger side. Coming back off just behind the crew compartment, there's a compartment there that has a small section of hose that's going to come off, one on each side, some spare hose there, some commonly used hand tools, axes, sledgehammers, crowbars, pry bars, there's a fire extinguisher there. Being that the things that we may need quick access to at a fire, we want those close to the passengers so they hop off the vehicle and can get their tools. We have generator power for our hydraulic rescue tools as well as a small electric generator, some wood and plastic cribbing that we use for stabilizing a vehicle during a car accident rescue. The silver panel there is actually the stabilizer foot for the big ladder. So we have another video uh, where we put the ladder up. You'll see those stabilizers come out the side of the ladder trucks to stabilize the unit so that it's a not going to move, not going to shake at all. Plenty of good old fashioned tools and equipment. Uh, any emergency that you can think of this vehicle may be sent on so you need to be prepared for just about everything even a good old-fashioned folding ladder if we need to get up to your roof or in a small space we can unfold those we have some rope rescue equipment as well as some of our water rescue tools um, those yellow things you'll see in one of our water safety videos where we can put those out, throw them to people. They put that sling over them and we can pull them into safety. Much like you've seen on some of the other videos as well, some of the unused storage space we were able to put in a small compartment for extra air bottles. 
more rescue tools and equipment for rope rescue, some power generators, fans, bags of extension cords, bags of rescue rope, powerful lights that we can set up in the yard to light up an emergency scene at night. In the rear of the truck is storage for our typical ground ladders. These would be generally extension ladders, a little sturdier than what you might have at home, but similar to what you might have at home where two sections can raise and lower. We have there these stairs to get up to the ladder compartment or to the ladder area. We're gonna get up there in a minute. Some absorbent material for auto accidents as well as an electric and a gas powered fan to blow some smoke out of structures. A rescue bag for us that is a called a RIT bag and it is designed to give an air supply to an injured or downed firefighter so that we can safely get them out of a building. More extra air bottles as well as our we have two chainsaws and two chop saws or circular saws. Different blades on those they're great for cutting almost anything we can cut through steel, wood, small sections of concrete, any type of rescue applications, we will have those out. A tool compartment with not only some extra fire extinguishers and small hand tools, axes, pike poles, all of our attachments for attaching hose together are back there in a, this is a, this is a slide out compartment for a little bit of space saving there. Equipment on one side, tools on the other, as well as an area for an air pack and coat storage for the driver. The panel for operating the pump. And then much like on the passenger side, we're on the driver's side here. The first compartment next to the passenger compartment is the other side that has those small commonly used tools as well as some rescue hose there. Now the reason we do call this Ladder 41 is up there on top is a ladder. Let's climb up there I'll show you some of the controls. So we did get to see the ladder climbed in one of the other videos. This is what it looks like up above in its bedded position. But what I wanted to show you here is inside that case, those are the controls to operate the ladder. Bring it up, down, extending in and out, as well as rotating it around the ladder itself. We will have a firefighter here on this platform at the back of the unit has his hands on all these controls he's able to talk to the firefighter at the tip of the ladder through the speaker and microphone they can remain in contact and somebody down here is in complete control so there we are there's a little walk around tour of ladder 41 for you i have all the compartments and doors closed everything is buckled down it's ready for the next alarm to serve you better thank you all for stopping by today have a great week and everybody stay safe out there thanks